Good, e good evening, Democrats. Come on, bunch around. We don't have too many of us tonight, and we're going we're gonna to be brief. We're going to be brief. W welcome to the November 5th meeting of the Lowndes County Democratic Party. Um, I think that most people are um, probably still out campaigning, doing something fun. Um, maybe when it gets totally dark, they'll come. If you would please rise and we would have a moment of silence to remember those um, who serve our country, and then we'll have the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag. I love that liberty and justice for all part. Uh, when you came in, you should have gotten the um, notes from the last meeting. Are there any corrections or changes to those minutes? Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Thank you. Um, financial report, Jim Parker. Had a little bit of activity this month. Um, we started the month with a uh, beginning balance of $2,900.38. And we ended with $2,226.25. That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, we don't have any elected officials here tonight. We actually don't have very many people here tonight, but that is not a giant surprise. Um, Laverne with the OFA report. Thank you so much, Chairman Gretchen Quarterman. Um, since OFA opened, we have been super, super busy. We've made thousands of phone calls. We've registered voters. And of course, we've canvassed. And I would think that uh, we played a significant role in the early voting turnout. Uh, I understand we came close to breaking a record with over 23,000 voters. All right, and, and I'm here to tell everybody we're not finished. We're almost there, but we're not quite finished. I need as many hands on deck to assist with phone banking tomorrow. I'm going to take off tomorrow from work, and uh, I understand Lynette will be there at 7 o'clock, and I'll be there roughly around 9, 9.30. We still need folks to phone bank and encourage people to get out there and vote from the top of the ballot all the way down. So if you can tell your friends, neighbors to help us with that, we'd appreciate it. We also need some volunteers to hold signs at precincts. If you all can't do it, if you know of someone else who's willing to do that, please, please, please contact me and uh, we'll give you some Obama signs to uh, put at the uh, various price precincts. And most importantly, we need people to volunteer to do phone banking. I know phone banking can be very difficult. It can at times be very tedious, but it's an important role that we play here in Valdosta. And because um, it's appropriate time, <laughs> I think I want to encourage anyone who wants to donate. Um, Obama for America, we have two outstanding bills. We have a bill of $134.98. Uh, you can write that uh, check out to Mediacom, as well as we have another bill for $277.85. Once again, you can write the check out uh, for, to Mediacom, and that will be considered a donation to Obama for America's office here in Valdosta. Um, I also want to remind everybody that we're going to have an election night results watch party, and this is for all of the candidates, and of course we are going to be there to cheer on the re-election of President Barack Obama. And I, I've got a few handouts. Um, it's going to be at the Fruits of the Garden right there on West Central Avenue from 8 o'clock to 11.30, 
just be uh, ready to smile and cheer and you have to buy your own wine and we'll have some pizza for you as well. I've got a few flyers and I'll go ahead and pass those out. We only have a few more hours but I'd like to personally thank each and every person who stepped up to the plate and decided to throw their names in the hat and consider being a candidate. And so I think we all should stand up and applaud these individuals because it takes a lot. All right, because everyone is pressed for time, uh, we do have a number of candidates who've come in. And uh, we'll start with, um, I'm sorry, it's late. <laughs> DeMarcus, you know I know you. DeMarcus Marshall, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Uh, Y'all, I'm running. Um, I told Gretchen I really, I had to come by and see everyone and tell them thank you. Um, as you all know, I teach at Battles State University uh, in the evening at 6.30, the Department of Political Science, so I'm en route there. I wanted you all to know that prior to me running, I talked to two people first. One, my wife, the other one was Laverne. I gave her a call after I saw um, the write-up in the newspaper regarding one of the per people that we thought were going to be running for the Democratic Party, to be honest with you all. And to me, that was my calling to ultimately go ahead and get involved in politics because at some point, we got to go beyond theory and practice. We, we, we got to stop sitting on the sideline and saying, hey, let's watch that person run. We got to get up there and make a difference ourselves if nobody else will. And that's what I saw. And um, it just so happened that I love local government, been working in it for years. Um, I really like to thank Gretchen as well, uh, wholeheartedly. Um, more importantly, she recorded each one of the meetings. And I know some of the candidates and some of the politicians probably were like, man, we don't see DeMarcus at these meetings. Well, DeMarcus was sitting on his bed. Uh, had his laptop in his hand, watching the 15, 20 minute meetings, as well as looking at the previous budget reports from 2010, 11, 7, all the way back of the county's budgets. I, I was, you know, looking at all the ordinances, all the policies, all the things that really make matter. Because I realized sometimes just bumping elbows with some people is just enough to feed an ego. I wanted to be objective throughout my process. And I put it like this here, I'm prepared. I hope that you all think that and know that I'm the best candidate for the job. Uh, and ultimately, I'm gonna be here no matter what. And like I said, I couldn't have did it with, without you all, your support, the good ideas. Some of y'all helped me in more ways than you know, to be honest with you. Sometimes even just, you know, being a, a shadow in the distance, it does a lot. It also lets me know that you understand what is going on, what is taking place in politics. And with that being said, hey, I'd like to thank you all. And if anything I could do for you all, you'll let me know. I wish all you all the best of luck tomorrow. I hope that every Democrat wins. Um, and if not, hey, I'm still going to be there for you. Thanks. And next, we'll hear from Teresa Lawrence. But before she comes up, I want to show off something that she's been passing out. Isn't this wonderful? It's absolutely beautiful. And I love what she has on the back. My opponent switched parties in 2010 and was disingenuous in his representation. I agree. Come on up. Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, it's uh, not a big crowd. And I'll, I'll keep it short because I know I'll have things to do. But I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Um, who's helped me and supported me. This is a crazy wild ride that it's been. And I just said to Gretchen, I said, it's like New Year's Eve or something. It's like this excitement for tomorrow. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, but I, I hope that I win, and I really think that I can do a good job. And I'm just really excited about all this. Thank you, Gretchen, for asking me to do this and being my biggest cheerleader. Um, so thank you, everyone, and let's get out. And we have one more day of work to do before it's over. So thank you, everybody. Show it off. <laughs> okay, we also have someone who was courageous enough to run against someone who switched parties as well. That person switched uh, parties uh, is Amy Carter, and we have J.C. Cunningham who was willing to step up to the plate and do the right thing.
Have you ever seen a speechless politician? Just thought I'd throw it on there. It has been a long ride. And I tell you, um, the only thing that, that I'm disappointed in is the fact that here we are the day before election and, and we don't have more people here that are willing to, to, to come out and say they want to help make sure we, we bring this home for President Obama and, and the other Democratic candidates. Um, but I, I would like to just say that we, maybe we can go on the phone tonight and we can encourage about 10 or 15 people to, to call 10 or 15 people because we can't take this thing for granted. And I think we can really turn Georgia blue. I think we're so close to turning Georgia blue that, that people don't believe it. But um, I believe we're going to turn Georgia blue. And I think we're going to be the talk of the nation real soon. Um, like DeMarcus and Teresa said before me, you know, this has been an experience. And, you know, the, the experience uh, was well worth it because we woke the minds and, and the, the hearts of a lot of people in South Georgia. And we made these folks who decided that they weren't worthy enough to, to, uh, to be honest to the party and to jump the party that um, we weren't going to let them just run unopposed uh, and keep that money for their next election. We made Tim Golden, I think Bikram, he, he, he deserves so much because uh, he made Tim spend money he thought he was never going to spend. And, I, and I'm so, uh, 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 so, so proud of what he's done. And, and, and um, you know, we really, really, um, I think Bikram's courage and um, his desire and his innovation uh, really, um, really spearheaded this Democratic Party. And uh, we, 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 we all need to make sure we say hello to him. And these cheap shots they've been trying to throw at him, he doesn't deserve it. He's a man of honor. And I just, I'm proud to, to be associated uh, with Democrats like Bikram. Um, again, um, uh, all the work that uh, the party leaders have been doing, um, Gretchen and uh, Lou and, and Jim and Dr. Marks and um, uh, Laverne, you know, uh, you know, we couldn't have gotten this far, so uh, you guys need a, a round of applause also, so let's do that real fast. And, um, but uh, tomorrow, um, uh, you know, I think that we're going to surprise a lot of people in Georgia. And we couldn't have done it if, if, we, if we didn't work together. And, and um, Teresa, uh, I hope everything works out with you fine tomorrow. I think you're going to surprise a lot of people. And, and we just left uh, uh, Thomasville. We've been in Thomasville all morning and uh, uh, papering cars. And if, 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 if you get a phone call, Gretchen, tonight, uh, we went on Archibald Hospital's property and we weren't supposed to. So uh, nah. we, might, we might get some phone calls on that. But I want to thank the women. Uh, since I forgot Lee's right here, the Valdosta uh, uh, women, of uh, vo voices of, of women, they have really done a lot. They've given all of the candidates three or four meet and greets, uh, raised money for us, and uh, that we, we cannot uh, go without thanking them as well. And uh, last, I want to just say to Laverne for all the work that she's doing, doing at the Obama House and all the emails and the, the, the texting that she does that has not gone unnoticed. And uh, so we appreciate that as well. But other than that, everybody have a good night. And um, uh, let's go Obama tomorrow, please. Our next speaker deserves some special recognition. She has been a tireless advocate of the Democratic Party of Georgia. And Gretchen has worked so hard because she served in a dual capacity as a candidate for chair of the Lowndes County Commissioners, as well as chair of the Lowndes County Democrats. And I'm here to tell you she's a hardworking person, and I believe she is going to be our next chair. <laughs> and she's got a special sign here, too. Good evening. My name is Gretchen Quarterman, and I'm running for Lowndes County Chairman. In case you haven't heard that at any of the mazillion places I've been in the last two months. Um, I'm feeling really good about all the Democratic candidates. Um, Bikram really has led the charge. He's showed off how um, uh, Tim Golden does not live up to South Georgia ethical standards. Um, he's shown off his good heart. Um, and the rest of our candidates really have worked very hard. Um, I'm going to be standing out tomorrow with my um, color here. And it says, vote today 
Everything I do is purple, and we're going to be voting today on the corner somewhere. If you want to hold up one of these or you know somebody, this is sort of an easy thing to do. Stand on the corner and say, vote today. Um, I'll give you some paper, and you can make some, or, or you can run down to the um, corner store and get these pieces of paper that cost 40 cents. Um, we can make a difference in our local government uh, when Democrats hang together and work as a team, and I think that we've done that, and I appreciate all the candidates, uh, like everybody said, and um, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, to tomorrow you can make a difference. You've already heard uh, two ways that you can make a difference. One is by going to the Obama office and phone banking, calling people. Uh, we can take a look in Vote Builder. We know who's already voted early. Uh, we know who are the Democrats who haven't voted yet. Uh, we're making, making calls to those folks. That's one thing you can do. Second thing you can do, uh, Gretchen just mentioned. That is to say, get the, get the signs. Uh, go out, uh, stand uh, near the precincts at the busy intersections in town, and urge people to go out and, and vote. Uh, that's, that's effective. So that's number two that you can, you can do. And the third thing you can do is to drive folks to the polls. We are getting incredible number of calls uh, from, from students, uh, from elderly folks, uh, from people who, don't, who can't drive. Uh, that they want to ride to the polls. And this is one of the most gratifying things you can, you can do, uh, is to take somebody to the polls, give them the opportunity to exercise their constitutional, constitutional right. Uh, the way that this works is uh, they either call the Obama office or they call uh, my cell phone. Uh, I've got a roster here of 10 folks who have volunteered to be drivers. Uh, we contact the the driver, we assign a driver to each of the people that calls in. Uh, the driver calls them, confirms the, confirms the time, uh, picks them up, takes them to their, takes them to their precinct. Uh, so if you want to be a driver tomorrow, that's the third thing that you can do uh, to help get out the, get out the vote. Um, and I want to express my appreciation to uh, Kent Gaskins, who is going to help coordinate the, the drivers uh, tomorrow. Uh, and, and get, these, uh, get the drivers and the riders together. I appreciate all of the people who have uh, been uh, drivers and continue tomorrow to be drivers. If you want to be a driver, please, please talk to me. Let me, let me sign you up. Uh, and again, uh, thank you to drivers, and especially thank you to voters. Uh, I think we're going to have a, we've had a record turnout uh, in the uh, advanced voting. Uh, and I think we're going to have a good day tomorrow. So uh, those are the three ways that, that you can help tomorrow get out the, get out the vote. Phone, phone banking, uh, signs, and uh, drivers for rides to the polls. Thank you. been a long, hard road for everybody. Some worked one way, some worked another way. But as we get what we call the finish line, and the vote is going to be tomorrow, but this is not the end of the ball game. It's just like the football players. They're going to play a game tonight. They're going to go home and maybe have off tomorrow. And then they're going to go right back at it. What I'm saying to you is, although the election is tomorrow, it is not the ending, or the end, I should say, of the Democratic Party. We will have a president in the White House. But we have to take a deep breath, thank the Almighty, and then go back and we've got to start work all over again. 
We've got to, after this election is over, we have got to start looking for people that we can screen that is willing to run. We've got to start having meetings and filling the House with the meetings. We have got to have issues. When I say issues, not like Mitt Romney issues, because he can get an issue on a second's notice. But if we are going to be a good, viable club, we have got to put this thing together in such a way that all year long we are working, we are grooming, we are cultivating. There's a lot of untilled soil out there. What do I mean by untilled soil? There are many people that have moved into this town since we started this cycle. We have not gone to them. Of course, we didn't know who they were. But we are going to need to make ourselves more visible so that they will find us or we will find them. In other words, what I'm saying, this is a marathon. This is not a 100-yard sprint. We have to keep working at it. Now think about this. We have a Democratic president. We have a lot of Democrats in the county 